Okay, this is the M1 paper from June 2024. It's question number three. Uh, this is quite an unusual question, so definitely worth you guys having a look at. It's a connected particles question, but where, as you can see from the diagram, Q and P are connected by an inextensible string, and then Q is also hanging down from uh, an inextensible string. So just read through the information about the masses. It says both particles are accelerating downwards, so I'll put that on my diagram. And then it's going to tell me the tension between the two particles, that's 3mg, and it's going to ask for the tension in the upper string. Okay, so let's just take a little bit of care over this one. So we've got this situation, we've got a string acting up here. Oops. This is the tension that I'm going to be looking at finding, but what forces have I got acting already? Well, I've got 4mg acting down there. I've got two tensions here. And we know that the value of that is 3mg. And then we've also got the weight of the particle acting down, which is 2mg. We know that this system or those particles are accelerating downwards. So that really should be enough information now to be able to go through and just do the question. We just needed to make sure that we had all that information before we got started with it. So now that we're looking at that, what have we got? I'm going to consider P separately to Q. I'm going to do F equals MA for both of them and see what we get. Um, let's consider P first of all. So when we consider P, I've got these forces acting. I'm going to resolve vertically and I've got the 4MG and the 3MG. So that's the simplest thing to consider first of all. Consider P. Resolve vertically, we're going to say F equals MA, and I know that this force is accelerating downwards, so it means the 4MG must be bigger. 4MG minus 3MG is going to be equal to mass times acceleration, it's going to be equal to 4MA. Cancel out those M's, and I can get that. Uh, G equals 4A, or rather A equals G over 4. So by considering P first of all, I was able to find out what the acceleration was. If I now consider Q, it's going to be the same acceleration, and I'll be able to work out tension, because that will be missing. So again, if I resolve vertically, and I do F equals MA, let's just go and look at Q now, let's get rid of those two. And uh, for Q, what have we got going on? Well, I've got the 3mg and the 2mg and the T going upwards. And again, we know that the 3mg and the 2mg are winning out in that battle. So if I now do F equals MA for that one, we're gonna have the 3mg plus the 2mg minus the tension is going to be equal to mass times acceleration, but we know the acceleration because we worked it out for the other particle and the acceleration is consistent throughout the, um, the system there. So T is just the only thing we haven't got. Let's work it out. 5mg minus T is equal to, that works out to be mg over 2. So rearrange T is 5mg minus mg over 2. So T is going to work out to be 9mg over 2. Let's just go back and check and it will say, yeah, it wants it in terms of m's and g's. So very unusual question. Make sure you've had a look at this one uh, and just make sure you're happy with where I put all those forces and the logic that I went through. Hopefully that all makes sense to you all.